Thanks, McLaren. Am I starting off with this one? I think you've got full responsibility. Oh, Lord. Right, now, if you remember in the last video, we worked out the empirical formula of phosphorus oxide. Now, it's very common at the end of a question for them to say, uh, having worked out the empirical formula, can you now work out the molecular formula? Mm. Dr. Porn. So, the empirical formula is P2O5, mm -hmm. but is empirical formula not the same as molecular formula? Ah, no. Now, if you were looking in the previous videos, as I'm sure you were, Ms. McLaren, because you were in them, you'll remember that there is a difference, and the molecular formula could be the same as the empirical formula, or it is a whole number multiple, and you have to work out what that number is. All right, okay, and the information that we need mm -hmm. in order to do this is the second piece of information, which is the MR of phosphorus oxide. Exactly, so this gives you the mass of the actual molecule, which in this case is 284. Right. You then have to work out the mass of the empirical formula in the same way we've always worked out for, we'll do that in a minute, and compare the two. All right, so by comparing the two values, then we can work out what the true molecular formula is? Yes, let's do it, it'll be easier. So, working out the mass of the empirical formula. Right, so in the empirical formula, we've got two phosphorus. And here we have and the, the mass phosphorus of phosphorus is 31. 31. So, two times so that 31. would be two times 31. Okay, and you've got five oxygens. So oxygen is 16. So five times 16. So that's five times 16. And if we add those together, we would get... Now we're not going to use that old calculator again. I okay. think I'm going to use my brain. In this case, we get one, four, Two. Lovely. So we've got the two numbers we need, 142 and 284. Now this bit's simple. The little calculation that you do is the MR of the actual molecule on top. So MR of actual molecule. So that's the 284. Divided by the MR of the empirical formula. Which is 142. Now I can see, but you can use a calculator, that the answer is 2. So that means that the actual molecule is twice the empirical formula. So, Miss McLaren, what do you think the molecular formula is? Right, so that's the empirical formula. Mm -hmm. So I think it is 2P2O5. Dr. Bourne. Oh dear, Miss McLaren, no. All right. I'm okay. afraid not. You cannot just double. That means you would have two of the P2O5s. That's not what we have. You take that two off there, but everything here must be doubled. So have another go. All right. Okay. If I can have that duster. So that means you multiply everything by two. So that would be uh, P2, which means it'd be P4. Five multiplied by two gives you 10. So that is the molecular formula. Absolutely right. Well done, Miss McLaren. We've done it again. I think hashtag we're still keeping it fresh. Mm -hmm.